It's Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com here in Sakusur Hall for the final of Estee Lauder 2019. I'm next to have the pleasure to have next to me Kerli and Eger Milder. They're performing the song called Love Tomorrow in the final and they just went on stage to perform for the first rehearsal. How do you feel guys? How is it being like so far to this experience here in the final? It's, it's very awesome. I actually I, I thought about it getting through tomorrow and I was thinking like what am I going to do next? <laughs> Because it's, it's going to get boring <laughs> because it's so exciting uh, right now all the rehearsals and everything surrounded by it it's maybe Eurovision cool. maybe Eurovision yeah Why not? <laughs> okay how was the rehearsal did you need to change any things that you have like checked a spot on uh, we checked and uh, I was quite satisfied so everything works as it should so I, I, I don't think we're going to change anything How did the idea came up, like to to perform in Estelle all this year together? And how does the song, like, bring up like with this such a warm atmosphere on stage? And how everything came up together? Um, in the beginning of last year, I I was at home and I was thinking that it would be cool to uh, participate. Uh, so I, I came up with a tune and then uh, immediately wrote to Egert that maybe he would like to write a song with me. So uh, we did, uh, included Nup as well. Uh, and then everything sort of came together like very easily. Okay. And why did you decide to perform, for example, in English and not in Estonian this time? Um, I, I personally it think that in the perspective of Eurovision, uh, it's it's better if the language is universal. Okay. And um, Cold Love uh, tells us about uh, a nice story. It has a nice feeling with behind and, and the atmosphere on stage that you create with the performance is like really, I don't know, it, it feels... Um, pleasant mm -hmm. to the viewer to see the performance mm -hmm. what did you want to to deliver to the audience with the song like I mean referring to the message mm -hmm. and also the performance uh, I'm really happy how how the stage and the performance turned out uh, because it was exactly like I imagined it to be to be um, if the song is about cold cold love then the performance itself is quite warm it I'd is. say it is. and it, it kind of uh, creates like um, some bastant Oh, okay, like opposite feelings, but but uh, the message is that you should always have hot love, not cold love. <laughs> cold love is, is not the best thing to, to have. <laughs> How do you see this competition this year? Do you feel like uh, do you feel like there are strong contenders, or like do you see the competition strong with? Uh Which songs do you It like? Definitely is a strong competition uh, compared to uh, earlier years. I think uh, the the level of performances is kind of equal, and <coughs> for a voter, it's pretty hard to choose uh, because all the songs are really good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, what would it mean to you guys to go to Eurovision this year in Tel Aviv in Israel? It would be <laughs> so <laughs> awesome. I, I I can't even imagine what I would feel like. Uh, but it's it, it would really be so awesome. Have you received any news or have you talked to previous Estonian singers that went to Eurovision Song Contest and they tell you anything regarding this or have any you? advice or I think for me no. But but I I would I, I think uh, it would be the greatest feeling to represent yeah. Estonia yeah. and the uh, music of Estonia yeah. uh, in, in such Europe. a big stage it would be exactly. so honored okay yeah. huge honor how much are you feeling the luck from the fans because I have checked that on Instagram and, and on uh, Facebook and all of the websites like the fans are really supportive and they they really want you guys to know to, yeah. to, to, to grow and think how, how much are you feeling the love from the fans it's it's uh, it's actually again unimaginable i never would have thought that uh, people would take the song uh, so so good that they would actually love it so much and i've received so so many positive notes and comments and it really it really makes me feel very very good okay. great to hear that but in case this doesn't go further this time will you be open to come back to Estee Lauder maybe in the upcoming sure, years sure sure I okay. think it's, it's a very uh, first it's a very good platform to introduce new music and then it's, a, it's also an awesome platform to uh, compete uh, in order to represent your country so of course do you think there's a winning formula in, in, in Eurovision that, that uh, will secure or that with uh, I don't know in Because different Eurovision songs have won throughout the past few years and they are really different from mm -hmm. each other. For example, last year we had Neta mm -hmm. with a really uplifting and yeah. uh, up-tempo song yeah. with a, this different 
element is it, it was kind of characteristic the year beha- before mm-hmm. we had Salvador Sobral from Portugal which is totally the opposite yeah. Do you think there's a formula to win it? I think that the formula is that it's not about a song uh, only. It is about the song, but the whole package should work, should work itself. So all factors have to be on the right place. And uh, if they are, then it's going to win. What What do you think was the failure for, 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 for Estonia in the past? Because Estonia has only won one time, mm-hmm. uh, back in the 2001 with Dave Benton and Tanel Padar. Mm-hmm. But uh, you never won again, guys. What was the problem that you have sent <laughs> really good songs like, I don't know, Sandra Nursalo, like Elina Nechaeva and Esti Grasta and all of them. What happened? What do you think? That I actually, I don't know, because the last year's performance was really, really good. Mm-hmm. I think for me, it had everything. It had all the elements that a winner sh- song should have. And I, I can't say anything that okay. should have been done better. But if you're... Uh I, I can't remember, Elina came to 7th or 8th or... Yeah, 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 in the top 10. Yeah. yeah. So it's huge already. It's a huge it achievement. It's, yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it's great yeah. achievement yeah. already. It so it's like, uh, it's hard to win, but uh, we keep trying. We keep sure. trying and we are writing You will songs. get it soon, for <laughs> sure. Maybe this year, yes. who knows? Maybe. Yeah. Okay, do you have any projects in mind together in the future? Do you have some kind of any things? In mind we're, to, to we're do together. We're still trying to write the best music as we can. Okay. Yeah, in the future as well. Yeah. So okay. We keep trying. Any any singles or anything in mind? I to think they're, they're, to gonna, release? they're gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh. We will keep updated. We will be keeping an eye on that. On that, guys. It was a pleasure talking to you. I really appreciate that you are taking so hard this this experience. And thank you very much for for being with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Good luck for the final. Thank you. Hi guys, uh, my name is Kerli. And my name is Egert. And with our song uh, Code Love, we're sending uh, lots of hot love to you guys, ESU+.